Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, semi-circle uh, with the center O, oh, fully inscribed uh, in a trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this point P is the point of tangency. And moreover, the area of this uh, semi-circle has been given to us as uh, 200 times pi centimeter square. And furthermore, uh, this side uh, A, D, of this uh, trapezoid is uh, 16 centimeter and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, region this area and this area combined please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus uh, on this uh, semi circle this area has been given to us as uh, 200 times pi centimeter square. And now we are going to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. I'm going to label this radius as lowercase r. So we are going to find the value of uh, radius r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square where lowercase r is the radius. So therefore uh, the semicircle area is going to be simply pi r square and I'm going to divide this one by 2 and now we know that our semicircle area has been given to us as 200 times pi so I'm going to substitute uh, this uh, semicircle area as 200 times pi over here so therefore we could write uh, 200 times pi equals to pi times r square divided by 2 and here we can see this pi and pi is gone. Furthermore, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to remove this fraction. So I'm going to multiply by 2 on the left hand side as well. And here we can see 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore, r square value is going to be equal to 2 times 200 is going to give us 400. Let's undo this square so I'm going to take a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our radius uh, lowercase r value turns out to be 20 centimeter so thus this uh, radius uh, of this my circle uh, r turns out to be 20 and likewise uh, this radius is going to be 20 as well so therefore uh, this whole uh, diameter of this my circle is going to be 40 centimeter and now in this uh, next step i am going to label uh, this side of this uh, trapezoid as uh, x centimeter and now let's recall the two tangent theorem according to this theorem if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point then they are uh, congruent as you can see in this given diagram and here we can see points A and B are our points of tangency and O is our external point. According to this uh, theorem, this segment uh, AO is going to be equal to this segment uh, BO. So therefore we could see in our this given problem, this uh, segment uh, AD is going to be equal to this segment uh, PD if this is uh, 16 then this uh, PD has got to be 16 as well and likewise uh, this segment uh, PC is going to be equal to this side uh, BC if this is X then this uh, segment has got to be X as well and now we can see that this uh, whole length uh, CD has got to be x uh, plus 16 so i can write this one as x uh, plus 16 and in this uh, next step i have dropped this uh, perpendicular de on this side uh, bc but let's make an observation we can see that uh, this side ad has got to be equal to this side uh, eb if this is uh, 16 then this side has got to be 16 as well and furthermore, we know that this whole side BC length is uh, X. So therefore, uh, this uh, segment CE length uh, has got to be X minus 16. So I can write X uh, minus uh, 16. 
and finally we know that this uh, side uh, DE is going to be equal to this uh, diameter AB we know our diameter is 40 so therefore uh, this uh, DE length has got to be 40 as well and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CED and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, x plus 16 whereas our two other legs are uh, x minus 16 and uh, 40. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, x uh, minus 16 whole square plus 40 square is going to be equal to x plus 16 whole square and now we are going to take care of these squares and that is going to give us x square minus 32 times x plus 256 and then 40 square is going to be 1600 is going to be equal to the right hand side is going to be x square plus 32 times x plus 256 and now we can see x square and x square is gone likewise 256 and 256 is gone as well and now I'm going to move this uh, negative 32 times x on the other side so therefore we are going to have uh, 32 times x uh, plus uh, 32 times uh, x equals to 1600 if we combine the like terms on the left hand side that's going to give us 64 x is equal to 1600 let's divide both sides by 64 to isolate x this 64 and 64 is gone so therefore our x value simply turns out to be 25 centimeter and we know our this uh, x represents this whole side length uh, bc so therefore our this uh, whole side bc length uh, turns out to be 25 centimeter and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, green shaded region area is going to be equal to the trapezoid ABCD area minus the area of the semicircle and we know our semicircle area has been given to us as uh, 200 times uh, pi so therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid so therefore now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid ABCD and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula area is always equal to height uh, H times uh, the sum of these two bases uh, A plus B all over 2 and here in our case uh, the height of this uh, trapezoid uh, is uh, 40 centimeter the base uh, A is uh, 25 whereas this other base uh, is 16 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got height uh, 40 divided by 2 times our bases are 25 plus uh, 16 and now let's simplify furthermore this 40 divided by 2 is going to give us uh, 20 times uh, this uh, 25 plus 16 is going to give us uh, 41 and if we multiply that is going to give us uh, 820 so the trapezoid ABCD area turns out to be 820 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region this area and this area combined and now let's recall this equation once again the green shaded region area equals to the trapezoid area minus the semicircle area we already figured out our trapezoid area as 820 and the area of this my circle has been given to us as 200 times pi so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so therefore green shaded region area is going to be 820 minus uh, 200 times uh, pi centimeter square so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be 820 minus uh, 200 times pi centimeter square 
and that is going to be approximately equal to 191.68 centimeter square as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye